Thank you for tuning in into my channel where you find all about mixed media, art journal, collage, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hi, my name is Bea Grob and I'm glad you are here. Hello creative friend, it's me again. I'm back with uh, an art journal page for you. As you can see the background is already painted. I do that sometimes when I have too much paint. I just slap on the paint onto a page. That's what I did here. I'm here for the Art Joy of Sharing Facebook group. As usual there will be a the link down below. It is a video hop for this month and the theme is tribal. So I'm not too much of a tribal girl but I thought hmm I could do something. So sometimes it's good to have those kind of challenges. You do things which you wouldn't do on your own. So I thought I'm going to make me sort of a template and I'm going to grab my jelly prints and I make three figures and for me tribal has a lot to do with patterning so I have this stencil here which I'm going to use but I recently also did buy um, order this uh, sick clean color dotters and I think dots go very well with the theme tribal so let's see with what I come up with uh, as usual there's going to be a lot in time lapse um, I do explain when I have the feeling there is something to explain but if I miss something don't hesitate to put your questions down below in the comments and nice comments are always welcome okay I do like to put it in on transparency paper so I can pick and choose which area I want. Those are all jelly prints which somehow I have done like quite a while ago. Like this one I even don't remember when I did it and what for I did it. I tend to do more than what I actually need, just to be able to choose and pick. Now before I'm going to glue down my bodies over here, I'm going to add a little bit of greenery down here, like yeah, mimic some grass with the stencil I have, and some green. Let's see. Yeah. And I use a cosmetic sponge to apply it just to make life a little bit easier. So next I want to use this kind of um, stencil which is a uh, homemade. Okay, I do use uh, a yellow ochre for that. I'm going to go over a second time because I want it really opaque. I want to cover up the background so I make sure that I have enough paint. And it does shift a little bit on me but oh well. Okay, I'm going to use Liquitex Matte Medium to glue them on. It 
it's a rather thin, it is a computer printer paper, so the Liquitex works fine. For a heavier paper, I probably would use some gel medium. Now I'm going to start with the Posca pen in black for the head. I'm not going to draw any features, it's just going to be black. But I also go along the dress. Now, if you miss it, you sometimes can wipe it off. Lucky me. If you are quick enough, you can. It, because it's an acrylic based marker, you actually can make corrections. But to paint in, I'm going to use a brush and some black acrylic paint. I like to dip my brush first in water and then wipe off any excess so that I don't get too much paint into the barrel. It's obviously inspired by Africa. Uh, there are other tribal uh, art out there like India or uh, American native. So I just went for Africa. No rhyme, no reason. I'm gonna fix some stuff here. Maybe I'm gonna make a little roundish thing onto the jelly printer paper so it looks more like a neck. Yeah, that's much better. Now, for me, uh, Africa has a lot of patterns, uh, so, and the patterns are embellished again, so that's what I'm going to do here. Now for me, I, I want to add something on their head. Uh, for me, those African ladies, they are master in carrying their goodies on their head very gracefully, which I never could do. <laughs> so I really admire how they can do. So I made myself a little template and I'm gonna choose which color I want. So it's basically an oval cut in half. So it sort of mimics the baskets they wear on their heads.
Now I do have those um, green color dots. Uh, it doesn't say what it is made of. I don't know whether it is acrylic based. It's a water based pigment. Light fast, odorless, xylene free. We'll see. It's just suitable on paper. I hope it is also suitable on acrylic paint. We're gonna figure it out pretty soon. It is fun, those dot makers, <laughs> I must say. Um, let's see. They have, by the way, uh, an ordinary uh, felt tip, but they also have the dot maker. Now, let's see. It doesn't have a white in here it's more like pastel colors um, I have to check out if they have black and white or something like that that would be fun too No, there is black. I need white too. Just, I can't be without white. So I'm gonna make little crosses. Okay, I think I call it done. It was a quick, fun art journal page with some jelly prints, with some paint. The background was already painted, so, but uh, I really like those <laughs> thick dot, thick, clean color dots. <laughs> they are fun and they were perfect now for that themed tribal art. So. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye.